All right, this morning it is sun shining out, which is awesome, and we are headed into a summer library program. It's all about science. Should be fun. You guys ready? Yeah. Who thinks that egg bird's gonna break? Well, that was just really fun. We really enjoyed the library and the science program was awesome. So now we are running into the post office, which is always fun with four little kids, um, to pick up a package. So we'll see what it is. Well, we got a big old box and it's heavy, so I have no idea what it is. So that's gonna be exciting. We'll have to open that up when Jeremy gets home today. All right, so today is National Free Donut Day. So we are headed into a local donut shop and hopefully we'll get donuts. We're kind of later in the day, so I'm not sure it's gonna work out. We'll see. So, yay, free donuts. Thank you. All right, okay. All right, so by the time we got to Lamar's, there weren't too many options for donuts. So we ended up with glazed sugar and cinnamon sugar, which I'm perfectly happy with those options. But my question for you is, what is your favorite kind of donut? So I think my favorite is probably just like frosting with sprinkles. That's mm, probably vanilla frosting with sprinkles. Jeremy loves the bars that have like butterscotch frosting on top, I think. And if I'm wrong, I'm sure he'll time out and tell you what he really thinks about donuts. But the truth of the matter is that I'm not a big donut person. I think it's because they're so sugary and they're usually associated with the mornings. And I don't really like to eat them in the mornings. But in the afternoon, I'm actually fine with them. Um, I'm just not a big pastry person. Jeremy, on the other hand, loves donuts. So. You love donuts too? Um, he likes... Uh, mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, just a second. Jeremy also really likes the filled donuts, the ones with like the cream filling. He likes those ones. Caleb, what's your favorite kind of donut? Uh, <laughs> never mind, never mind. I'll wait and ask you guys when your mouths are not full. That's it for now. All right, guys, I do not think that Laura has ever had a donut before. So here's her little piece of a donut. It's just glazed. We're gonna see what she thinks. Do you wanna try donut? Oh, you wanna put the bib back on. Okay, we'll put your bib back on and we will give you this donut. What does she think? I think she likes it. Her smirk, she like looks like she's getting away with something. Happy National Donut Day! We will celebrate any and all food related, free related holidays. Why not? We are going at an art festival with our dad and our dad is still at work. So, it's going to be pretty fun. So there's this cute little art festival that we've come to every year for the last, how many years? It's been a couple years, maybe four or five. I think this is our fifth year to come. Back in the day, I took an, a pottery class and I got to use the wheel and it was amazing, but this is like serious skill. It's a little scary having Caleb in with all of the pottery and the glass and everything else. Hopefully we leave without having to buy a bunch of art that's broken. Andrew's taking about 45 minutes at each booth. I love meeting the artists and I love to hear how they do it and I want to hear the whole story and... Hey, she wants to know every detail about every piece. If you guys could choose one of these kinds of art to try, what so would you So pottery, glass blowing, painting, photography, bead working. Probably photography or pottery. What do you yeah. think, Elise? Painting. Painting? You do love to paint. What would you want to try? Well, I would like to do pictures. You like the pictures? What would you do? I think I would stick with video. <laughs> I would go with glass or pottery for sure. Okay, or photography. That's all of them. Isn't you picked it? all of them. Are you coloring on a car? Mm -hmm. What? And now trying to get back. Oh, 
From? No, Matt and Ann. This is from Matt and Ann. They're one of our vloggers. Yeah, they're one of our vlogging friends, huh? Do you remember when we stayed with Matt and Ann? Mm -hmm. So we had the chance, we stayed with Matt and Ann twice in this last year, and they were so nice to us, so. And they, and they mystery out of the blue called us this last week, and we're like, hey guys, what's your address? And we gave it to them, we're like, um, should we be expecting some like midnight visitors? And they're like, no. So, <laughs> this is the next best thing. All right, here It's we a package. Go. Let's see what it is. <gasps> Yay! Look what they sent me! <laughs> An unlimited amount of mason jars to drink out of. Not for you? Yeah, hopefully I don't drop them all. <laughs> I hope not. This is brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> That's so thoughtful. Yeah, that was awesome. Thank you so much. I want to drink out Best of Best gift ever. That's hilarious. I'm going to drink out of one right now. All right, so Jeremy says this is the exact same jar, same brand, same everything. Look, they're reunited. The first it's just sip. better. I don't know why it's better out of a mason jar. It's so funny. I can't <laughs> believe you said this to me. That's so funny. Thank you, you guys. Thank you. Hi, Carter. Hi, Drake. Hi, Carter and Drake. If you haven't seen Matt and Em vlogs, I think the funniest footage of Caleb ever recorded is actually on Matt and M's vlog. Caleb was singing this song and I filmed some of it with my camera and then I filmed some of it with Matt's camera. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna put an eye card to that because it is the funniest thing ever. Check it out. So Kendra and I are on our date night. We decided to go sit outside. Because it's not raining, we're so excited. And we came to Jose Peppers again. We're in a rut, but it's a yummy one. We love Jose Peppers. It's the chips and salsa part. So I think I have a disability. I always get some of the salsa on the table. Like every time. It's terrible. Do any of you guys do that? All right. Dang it. When the table is holy, the salsa actually gets on your pants. So the table that has a bunch of holes in it, also bad if your wife spills an entire drink of ice water on you. Oops. Do you have some paper napkins? I've yeah. poured water all over Grab my husband. Yeah. Besides the whole Jeremy got wet. I dried out. food got soaked incident. Um, it was a very nice date night. It's gorgeous out and it was so fun to sit out here. So anyway, for some reason there is something for me about eating outside that is just so refreshing. I really like it. I guess I just like being outside. You know, we often talk about our days in the future when we're going to be in Europe on little side streets eating outside at cafes and stuff. It's going to happen. We'll see. Someday. Alright, well that's it for tonight. J House out. J House out. J House out. J House out, Bubby Jan. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Ashley. And we're from Salt Lake City, Utah. Jay House out. So they feed 141,000 people each month. They bring in 48 million pounds a year that they give to those hundreds of thousands of people. Yes, it does, it does, it does.